Hello guys, in this video I want to give you an advice about how to take the advice. I know it's funny, but uh, hear me out. And this is the tweet that is pretty dangerous. So if you're asking for some opinion, and I see a lot of comments on my YouTube channel, a lot of questions on how to do this or that, be careful about answers like this one. Be careful about opinionated answers, and I see a lot of them actually on my YouTube channel as well. So people are swearing by their own way of doing things. Like for example, if you ask what is the API auth, like JWT or Passport or Sanctum, there will be always people who are swearing by their way of doing things. So if they were always using JWT and they haven't usually even tried Sanctum, they will totally swear that JWT is the best and you don't even need to try Sanctum. On the other side, there will be people who tried Sanctum and don't even understand why they need some complicated stuff like Passport with OAuth. And this is just one example. But with that, I want to read a few tweets of mine uh, to emphasize the thought that it all depends. If you are asking the question, the answer usually depends on the specific situation, and that situation may be totally different for that person who is answering. Another tweet is kind of a proof of that. So the answer usually depends on previous experience with previous project that person worked on. Another tweet, the answer may depend what are you building. For example, architectural decisions. Should you write tests or not? It usually depends do you need the project in a week to be delivered or do you have half a year and bigger budget and to build a solid architecture for the future? So in other words, are you currently writing a disposable code, the code that will likely be changed in the future, so for MVP, for quick testing of the project, of the market, or are you already sure that tomorrow you will have thousands of users already if you build that feature and that project and then you need to build solid architecture for scalability? And also, it depends. I found out those opinionated developers that come on my YouTube channel, they usually work solo. They usually work uh, as freelancers or alone in, their, in the company for a lot of years on the same technology or same way of doing things. And this is fine. But they found their own way of doing stuff and they're swearing that this is the way to go. But if they started working in a team, that would likely change their opinion on a lot of things. Because when working with a team, you have to adapt to the team. You have to take care of the teammates as well, not only about the code, because any teammate could take over your code, should be able to understand your code. The whole deployment process is probably different. You need documentation, you need better readability of the code. So the whole experience in working in a team of developers, that's what makes a developer a senior developer, in my opinion. Because then they start to care about other opinions, about other developers, and that kind of makes their mind broader, including the answers to other developers' questions. So you would get better answers from developers who worked in a team, who worked on a different kinds of projects, who have a variety of opinions, and then they usually answer, it depends on X, Y, and Z. So my overall thought of this video, be careful about short and opinionated answers on whatever programming questions. Because if it's short, usually that person didn't really try to understand your situation. They are just preaching their own way of doing things and that is not necessarily what you need in your situation. And final example, even within the team, we had a hackathon a week ago, pretty fun experience. Uh, a few hours of just demo project with uh, interesting question will we write the same code or not? And of course the answer is not. And I've shot a separate video on that, but I will remind you that even within the team, three developers could write totally different code. Well, it's not totally, it's not right or wrong, but the structure of the code could be different. So in a team, you will write and read different kinds of code and you will learn even more from every example of your teammate. And then again, you will be more qualified to answer various questions on development. So to recap, whenever you ask the question, provide as much information and as much context so people would try to answer for your situation and not for their situation. And whenever you give the answer, always try to think about that person in mind, what is their situation what, and what do they actually need.